How the fuck are ya, you pickled blue waffles? Galactic criminal here. It's the Canada Day long weekend, and I figure what better way to celebrate Canada Day than to revisit some slamming, brutal Slovenian deathcore within destruction. I reacted to these fuckers a while back, their song Self-Hatred. Loved that shit so much, I went right ahead and got their album Death Wish. Which honestly surprised me, because it ended up being one of the heavier, still to this day, straight up deathcore albums I've ever bought. So I figure why not take a step back a few years and see what these fuckers had to say about the void. Within destruction, void for the one, two.
I should have worn my hat that says fuck on it, because the drummer had one that says hate, and together, we are hate fuck. <laughs> Just <laughs> everything, everything I love about this band in this song. Now, what kind of surprised me when I picked up their album is their song, Self Hatred, that I checked out on the channel. Badass, really fast paced, really heavy, but when it didn't have any breeze on it. You know what I'm saying? No pig squeals, nothing. I get the album and that thing is just packed full with that shit. But to be completely honest, after listening to the entire album, like just front to back, I began to appreciate it more. Now that's not saying, okay? It's not saying that it's something that I definitely want to have on all of my deathcore from now on. I do feel that when it's used well, when it's used as more of a, like an instrument, as to rather than just kind of show off and fill in a gap where they don't know what to write for lyrics or whatever the fuck, I feel it's good if it's done well. And I feel like these guys do it well. They use it in like small bursts and not just like the whole fucking goddamn track to annoy the fuck out of you. It's used as more of an instrument and it's more of an accent than, than any of the other bands for the most part that I've heard to use it. What else I really love about this band are the change-ups and the songwriting ability. In, in the group, a lot of deathcore bands that I check out and have a similar style to this just end up doing a straight blast beat through the entire fucking track. Everyone turns the distortion all the way up and it's just a fucking wall of noise most of the time. You can't even hear the vocalist. And then when you do, they're just doing like fucking voice juggles and bree, 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 or fucking over and over again. And there's just, I feel like there's no real song structure there. There's, there's nothing to follow. It's just a fucking, a wall of noise. It's like each guy wants to show off as much as he can doing like crazy technical guitar work, crazy technical bass work. You know, the drummer's fucking going nuts, like I said, with the blast beat. And then the vocalist is just trying to show off how he can breathe, breathe, breathe over and over again. Just that shit annoys me when there's just, there's no structure. There's no structure to the song. Nobody fucking like pulls back a bit to let the other stuff shine. I feel like this group does a good job of all of those things. You know, there's not so much a melody when it comes to deathcore <laughs> like this for the most part, but I feel like they, they find a way to put it in there for sure. And definitely a bunch of the songs on Death Wish have that element there. This song, I think, I just, I thought that was fantastic. Again, like all, all the different change-ups, the drummer is a fucking beast. I'll tell you that much, dude. Just <laughs> fucking, I'll never, I'll never be able to tell you how, how like fucking they can keep up with that kind of shit because that just that fucking blows my mind. But everyone else was doing their job very well, which created an incredible song. I fucking, I really, really liked that. I really like that. I think and I think I've said in the past that I'm starting, starting to sort of like ease my way more so into uh, this style. Of, of deathcore. It's kind of an acquired taste for the most part, especially for me. I'm a little picky. Again, I kind of like pick and choose what kind of bands like this I want to get into. Some of them are too much on that heavy, heavy, just want to make noise fucking side. And that's really not for me. A group like this feels like it's like breaching the cusp of that without totally going over. It's enough so that I can actually enjoy it. But yeah, dude, just overall a heavy, heavy, heavy fucking deathcore track. I definitely needed some of that. <laughs> some of that today. But am I gonna get this album? Was Death Wish enough? I'm not quite sure, but I'm definitely gonna try to look into some more of this album before I decide. Say, so, hey, what did you think of this song? Are you a fan of Within Destruction? Do you think Void is worth getting my greasy fingers on? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there will be a link in the description for this video, so you go ahead and watch it for yourself. Full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.